sorry, but my house is gone. It's like something out of a horror movie. I've never seen anything like it. It's two in the afternoon, and this is what we're in. When you hear about 5,000 or so people fleeing to the beaches and camping on piers and having marine rescues of people, it's far beyond uh, even what we're accustomed to to here in California. Direct Release Deputy Director of Emergency Response is based in Australia. <laughs> CEO Thomas Teig says they've been communicating with government officials and community groups in response to the bushfires. Australia always helps uh, in California. They share their air fighting equipment. Um, so it's nice to be able to do something because they always have our back. The nonprofit says when people need supplies during a disaster, they're typically unavailable. And then there's a rush leading to chronic shortages. So they had the largest stockpile of N95 masks made in the state. We happen to have a large inventory right now, so we've offered all 500,000 that we have currently on hand to folks in Australia. And thankfully, yesterday, Qantas came through and said they will take them down at no charge today, so we're delighted to be able to do something for the people in Australia. Tig knows masks won't put out the flames, but given what Santa Barbara and California have gone through, there's a sense of community stretching across the world. Just the spirit of everyone banding together and helping each other, and even though a lot of people have lost a lot of things, we still have that really good community spirit. In Santa Barbara, Casey Drescher, News Channel 3. In Santa Barbara, Casey Drescher, KCOY 12, Central Coast News. In Santa Barbara, Casey Drescher, Fox 11 News.